so where are we we've got the hamstick dipole up now so we'll show you some of that in a minute of actually on air making the contact on voice and ft8 and a bit of a pile up going on uh, fantastic signals it, it it's up it rotates the rotators were work, working perfectly uh, it was a bit of a nightmare to get up there um, the actual connector on the bottom of the rotator actually only fits a very narrow pole about 40 mil so when i went to put it up it would fit over and i thought okay um but luckily that connector at the top there that i slide the hf 360 onto that just fits and i mean i mean only just it just goes on there uh but it's on that's the main thing it's up now um it's just a bit of a nightmare to, to slide it on and off because it is so tight uh it's not you know it's going to be difficult to quickly pull it on and off to adjust the antenna which is the only downside and this is what it looks like on fta absolutely fantastic we're getting great signals across into europe and across the uk here on 40 meters as the gray line sweeps across the uk uh, it seemed to be working very well and then all of a sudden it just dropped as it as it went dark uh, the band just stopped for some reason ft8 just stopped making contacts uh, i then jumped on to voice and there were a few strong special event stations on uh, for the coronation one of them was andy he was running a club station uh, but he was actually activating a special event call sign uh, golf bravo zero kcc i think it was i might have got that wrong but it'll be on the screen you are dead. golf bravo zero kcc golf radio five sierra tango united Quebec. Uh, the Golf Radio. Golf Radio, go ahead. Yeah, Golf Radio 5, Sugar Tango United. How you doing, Andy? Uh, Golf Radio 5, Sugar Tango United. A very good evening, Stuart. I hope you will, my friend. Uh, you can write your own report on that one. I think you're about 10 over, Stuart. Go ahead. Yeah, fantastic, Andy. Good to hear you with work in the, the, the uh, special event call there. You're 20 over uh, 9 here. And uh, uh, Hamstick Dipole, Andy. I've put a Hamstick Dipole dipole up today above the roof on a rotator over <laughs> well i was waiting for the video i watched the first one Stuart, and i thought well how the hell is he gonna get that up there no uh, that's great stuff mate and uh, i'm glad you're uh, sorting the antenna out all the gear and no antenna don't seem to work very well Stuart. over yeah no absolutely i'm recording now this will be in the next video andy so uh, yeah pleasure to work yeah and yeah you'll be able to watch yourself on the old youtube when the next video comes out later tonight or tomorrow only 100 watts from the radio, ever? Yeah, Roger, 100 from the radio. But, uh, yeah, you've caught me out there because I'm not recording anything. So uh, I won't be putting you on YouTube <laughs> from this side. Hey, Stuart, thanks for calling in, mate. It's been a pleasure. 73. Yeah, all the best then to you and everybody at the uh, club station there. 73, Andy. Bye-bye. Yeah, I will pass that on, Stuart. 73, mate. All the best. QRZ, Golf Bravo Zero, KCC listing. The hamstick dipole, it works really well. I can actually get it up a bit further. Uh, here's the SWR sweep. It's resonant at the bottom end of 40 meters, so below uh, 7.1, so in the data section. It's, it's fully usable there with the internal tuner on the radio. So in order to get it to resonate obviously higher up in the voice section, which is really where I want it, I'm going to have to shorten the legs. So in summary, where are we? Yeah, I haven't got the two meter beam up yet because I don't have the standoff. I've ordered a standoff that, that spins it 90 degrees and puts, you know, give, puts it about half a meter away from the main mast. Uh, so that will be in the next video, the final part of the video. And I'll also be getting a second 20 meter hamstick so I can put up or swap it out to be a 20 meter hamstick dipole as well. I have considered getting one of these adapters where you can put up it's an octopus or something so you can basically connect lots of hamsticks to the centerpiece in one go but they look very flimsy what i've got up there now it's not going anywhere in a hurry there'd have to be some serious weather event for that to to be damaged or or fall off or anything like that uh, i can pull it down very quickly just by undoing two bolts and then just slide it down and then the main antenna will be shielded by the building so i don't need to pull it down fully uh, the way that i've got it set up here is i can very quickly slide it up and down and it will be above the roof or beside the the wall when spinning this thing you're not really noticing mega difference in terms of directionality i wasn't expecting to um, i was listening to andy there doing his pile up on the special event call and i was spinning it and to be honest I, I, there was there, i could have worked him at any angle it wouldn't have made any difference uh, there might have been a half an s point in it 
you know as the ends of the antennas were pointing in his direction so yeah not a big problem i'm not going to be sat here spinning it all day long Gold 5 Sugar Tango Uniform. So by the way, how long you've been listening to me on here now? We just had young Joe calling, nine years old. I forget where he's from. But um, absolutely cracky little operator on the radio. And a G5 station. And a G5 station, go please. Yeah, Gold 5 Sierra Tango United. How you doing, Lee? Hi, Joe. So you're right, mate. I thought I heard you. It's your voice, more on your call that come up when everyone was starting to call us. I know we just heard I had a little QSO with Andy. And then a few back, I had a little QSO with uh, a nine-year-old little Joe. He was absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll give you a signal report on your next over, mate. Um, I don't know how I'm getting to you today. Uh, from 21HAW, back to you, Stu. Yeah, G5S. Yeah, yeah, I've been listening since you spoke to Joe there, the, the nine-year-old. And uh, me and Andy called in at the same time. So he, he obviously was louder than me. Uh, yeah, as he said, I spoke to him last night when he was running the special call there. So hello, Andy, if you're still listening. And uh, yeah, you're 5'9", crystal clear down to Paul in Dorset today I'm TXing on um, I'm, ba I'm using the full legal limit here so that's TXing on the double bazooka in the roof but I'm RXing on the uh, hamstick dipole sounding great over Yeah, well, I've not been using it a great deal since yesterday. I tested it. I've not been feeling that great all day, so I've not done much. But it's it's working, mate. It's receiving better than the antennas in the attic, so it's a win-win. Over. Oh, wicked, mate. No, it's well, I have to, I've seen that you just give me a call on the old Discord earlier. I wouldn't obviously probably phone you. But um, I'll catch up with you in a bit. I won't hold you with your show. Thanks, mate. Always pleasure to get you in the rock, fella. And uh, 73 is coming out. Yeah, 73, mate. I'll be short wave listening. Have fun. No worries, mate. Two Echo One Hotel Julie Whiskey, two in one HJW, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope it's been of interest. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in part three, seven three.